Well, tonight, it happened to be the tropical episode of Dual Survival on. So, as I live in the subtropics and the grand inspiration of Dual Survival, I will be using for my basket or pouch a palm frond. First thing I do is cut off the extra fronds and get a nice even starting place. And then from there, I will braid and interbraid the other fingers to make a nice basket for which to carry my 5C essentials. The next step is to separate the fronds previously webbed into individual fingers so they can be braided and woven together. I can use here to start is you'll grab three fronds, the middle one, pressing it flat and flip it forward. Last one, flip to the back, the very first one, flip over the top. And then grab two more. After you've grabbed those two and woven them above about the others, continue by grabbing two more. The rear rearwardmost one gets bent forward. And the most forward one gets back and woven across the others until it remains on top. Continue this process as you move ahead. As you can see, as we progress forward, just interwoven these, grabbing two at a time, folding the rear one one closest to the step forward, and the one ahead of it, over it, and under the ones that fall under the one just prior. And we progress across as such. As you can see, we begin at this end, interlocking and weaving forward both from this pack. These particular palm fronds, because they're not truly alternate leaves, come to a point where I've had to stop coming forward and we use by hand simple over under to the point where they no longer effectively become weavable. So at that point I'll stop and I'll weave these a little bit tighter, tie them off with themselves just to hold them in place and go on to the other side, repeating these steps to the same extent. Woven these together, outward, three together in a braiding formation, moving forward two at a time, over and back, over and back, until I've reached the end of the fronds that can be used effectively to braid this together. At this point, underneath, pressing this outward to create a cavity. I'll take a moment, tie these off so that they don't unravel. I'll do the same on the other side. You can see I've already tied those off. I'll press this out to form a basket and then I'll begin locking them together. I pull across, tightening the weave and using the loose ends pulling them together and tying back into the weave. To reinforce that, I will then come in with the, one of the trimmed off fronds, and just as a secondary measure, come in here and bind across that knot to ensure that it stays in place. Tuck this through a couple of layers, creating the bottom of the basket. It is the weave wrapped with the, the tail ends of the fronds. I then take a couple of previously trimmed fronds that are remaining, and I can also at this time use my fibers to tie and bind various layers together in the final wraps to make what will result in a fairly stout, robust basket for which to carry your gear. Finished so product, the woven basket, again, two layers wrapped inside of each other and around and tied off 
tucked in, various fronds tying off the loose ends to produce a basket. Again, of a fairly tight weave inside, so you can see that. And here in a moment, I'll show you my gear within it being extracted from it. Choctaw palm frond basket. Here you can see the finished basket as constructed. And I've used a piece of my cordage as a handle, a strap rather. But you could easily use a piece of green briar or other natural vine of appropriate length to wrap around using the stem to bind to. My gear within, here I have my compass, some tinder, it's really some toilet paper, but it certainly serves a tinder. Fire steel mag bar and striker. A pair of gloves. My water bottle. And my six foot by eight foot nylon tarp. Also within my water bottle. For now, I have a piece, two hanks of ultra high strength rope. There you have it, guys. Choctaw palm frond basket. In this case, with a cordage that sets approximately 30 feet of paracord. My water bottle, tarp, gloves, compass, tender slash necessities, and my fire steel. Thank you.